Okay, <clears throat> so now I am discussing about the conservation of angular momentum for rigid bodies. So the basic formula is this: if one body has momentum inertia I one and it is rotating with angular velocity omega one and it comes in contact with another body having momentum inertia I two and it is rotating with moment of uh, its uh, angular velocity omega two. And if they join together, that means in uh, this case, that means in rotational mechanics, generally they will combine together ultimately. Just like in linear motion, in case of linear motion, you have seen that one body comes from this side, another body comes from this side. They collide, and after collision, the collision may be elastic or inelastic. So if this is elastic, then they can go apart. And if this is inel inelastic, then they both go together. So they stick together. But uh, in case of rotational mechanics, maximum problem will be like this: that they will stick together, and ultimately it will be I1 plus I2, just like M1 plus M2, and this into omega dash. So we are interested to find this omega dash. So this will be actually I1 omega 1 plus I2 omega 2, and divided by I1 plus I2. So this will give. The angular momentum of the final resultant, resultant angular momentum. But general problem is a little bit crooked. So I am discussing about one of the problem which will clear many of the doubts. So first of all, just a simple thing to remember that is very important. Suppose here it is a stone. I am rotating it. I am just building this stone like. So suppose this is a string of radius r. I am building it about this axis, and its mass is m. Then some if someone asks you, what is the moment of inertia of this particle? So it is building about this axis. This is the axis, and I am building this stone. So what will be its angular momentum in this condition? So it will be. So draw a tangent. So it is m v into r because this is 90 degree. So it will be m v r. M v r. Again, v is equal to you can write v is equal to r omega. So you can write the angular momentum of this particle. So l that is equal to m v r. That is equal to m and v is equal to r omega. So r omega into r, which in turn give you m r square into omega. So this quantity, m r square, that means when a particle rotates in a circle, circle, then its moment of inertia, I can say its moment of inertia, is quite similar to that of ring. That means when a particle is rotating in a circular path, then its moment of inertia is same as that of a ring, that is m r square. So we can consider in this way. So this thing is very important for calculation purpose, for numerical purpose. Now suppose a problem. Which is like this. Suppose this is a wooden bar. So its length is L, capital L. So this is hanging from a support here. And suppose the bullet, it is a bullet, which is coming with the velocity v, and it strikes the lower end of this log. Its mass is suppose m. And this wooden log has mass capital M. So it is such a support that this wooden log can rotate about this support, so it can swing. Now this bullet is having mass m and velocity v strikes the lower end of this wooden log and get embedded at the bottom. You can consider at the bottom. Now if it strikes, if it hits and gets embedded within this wooden log, then what will be the angular velocity of this? Wooden log. So this is a critical problem where we require to convert the initial angular momentum into final angular momentum. So if we consider the angular momentum, angular initial momentum, then we can find this. This is coming with linear momentum m v, and this distance is l. So this is the perpendicular distance. So m v into perpendicular distance. This will be the initial angular momentum. So initial angular momentum. 
initial angular momentum is equal to mvl now when the bullet gets embedded within this suppose the bullet is within this wooden block now it is behaving like just like a mass which is tied with a string of length l so in this case when a mass rotates when just a mass rotates then its moment of inertia is m r square so in this case it will be m into l square so finally final moment of inertia fine uh, sorry final angular momentum final angular momentum will be i1 plus i2 into omega dash suppose this is a mass and this is a separate mass which will rotate so its moment the moment of inertia will be m into capital l square so it will be m l square that is my moment of inertia of this bullet when it gets embedded within this wooden block and plus moment of inertia of this wooden block now what will be the moment of inertia of this wooden block so it is just like a rod rotating about its one end one of its ends so one of its end that means it will be ml square by 3 so for better understanding i will recommend to see the previous class because i have discussed already that what will be the moment of inertia of different rigid bodies so it will be ml square by 3 so it is capital m capital l square by 3 so this is the moment of inertia of the bullet and this is the moment of inertia of the wooden block this into omega dash so omega dash will be the final angular moment final angular velocity of this total system now as angular momentum is conserved so we can do initial angular momentum is equal to final angular momentum and we can find the value of omega so in this case you will get mvl that is equal to So from here you can take on one L. So it will come M L plus. Let us take on L square. So it will be better M plus M by three. This whole into L square omega dash. So this one L and this square will be cancelled. So you will get omega dash is equal to. This will be three small m v divided by three small m plus capital M into L. So this will be the final angular moment, final angular velocity of this wooden block. So in this way we have to calculate different uh, for different bodies. So it is a it is a good example that one body is coming linearly, and when it gets embedded, then the total system starts rotating. So this type of problems are there. In which you can find that uh, we have to apply this theorem, that is, m v into this perpendicular distance.